Five Swamp, Act 1, Act 7. Well, Matt Disselin and YouTube, North Park Trailsmith at your service, continuing the story of Joey and Zephros. Today, mostly Zephros, apparently. Your grub slurry agitator is nice for when you just want to throw some uneducated grub slurry into the agitating receptacle and enjoy some grub slurry that's been thoroughly agitated. You don't currently have any unagitated grub slurry that needs agitating in your grub slurry agitator. If you do, though, you always know right where to go. All the best chefs cook on very high heat. You are not one of the best chefs, which is just as well, since your crisp range kind of sucks. Besides, how will you know what to cook if Demic doesn't tell you what he wants? Ugh, these are still in here. Bile slaw really doesn't keep well. Ah, delicious grub sauce, hand sauced from... Uh, you're not sure, actually. You don't ask about grub sauce. That's not what you do with grub sauce. Always useful in case you need to whip up a souffle. You're bad at that, but it's a mandatory part of your future job, so... Leftover from Tetrarch Demic's early Breguin Day party. He doesn't turn seven sleeps old for a couple wipes, but you want to celebrate him for his rites of maturation. Sometimes, when you're feeling especially rebellious, you wish all the good toppings weren't reserved for high bloods. Eating an unranged cluckbeast ova is a great way to fill your acid tubes with horrifying parasites, who probably wouldn't get along with your benevolent parasites or your benign parasites. Grub juice hydration cylinders. Inside these cylindrical containers is grub juice, which can be used for hydration and restoring reserves of psychic power. You pick up Grub juice hydration cylinders. Nice. Now if you need a quick restorative for your psychic stamina, you'll just have that in your hand, instead of not having it like some kind of chomp. You once again attempt to open the sports locker. You succeed in opening the sports locker. Now you can get the, the sloth treats. What a trial that was. Luckily, he has such a slow metabolism. The sloth treats, there they are, yours for the grabbing. You grab the sloth treats, you know just what to do with these. You fire off from the hip with some absolutely devastating first part of your Lucis, about Lucis's in general, and their inability to comprehend the struggles of their wards due to a lethal combination of being too old, too corny, and too much dumb monster animals to set people. You retaliate by continuing to be asleep. You're wrecked. He's very particular about his diet. He only eats cloth treats, and he only eats a lot of them. 
just wants his slot treats, giving him an empty spoon is kind of rude in that context. You compare the rules for playing Flarp to the playbook for ruling, you mean, for playing Arena Stick Flarp, Stick Ball, you mean, and you, uh, you reference both and, um, determine that, uh, you have a headache. You've got just the thing to get moving. Here you go, Zoo Smell. A lot of typos in this story. Zoo Smell slowly moves out of the way. Things are looking pretty dicey out there, but Joey Alien needs your help. Aw oh, man, a can of claw gunk would really hit the spot right now. That spot being the dead center of your gastric evacuation gland. Your neighbor's hive is pretty choice, you have to admit. You like your hive, but sometimes you'd wish you'd been a little older. A little older than freshly pupated when the carpenter droids demanded you design it. If you had to if you had it to do over again, you'd obviously have included more rumpus rooms. Looks like it might be some kind of software box. Hmm. Oh. Scratchware received. All future messages to and from this device are protected from third-party surveillance. As a special one-time offer, all past messages are protected as well. Do you agree that you are already subject to the terms of service? I'm vaguely unsettled by all this. You are buried in missile rubble. Hello? Hey, Joey. It's Joey, right? Yeah, that's right. And you're Xerox. Actually, no, I'm Zephyrus. Oh, oops. Are you okay? What's going on? I thought we weren't supposed to talk. Yeah, something weird happened, though. I think it's safe now. What do you mean? Real quick, do you have a green and white symbol on your chat window now? Oh, hey, yeah, I wasn't there before. Okay, I think we're safe then. To chat, anyway. Okay, good. I still don't quite get what the danger is, but... I guess I'm going to need to trust you if I have any hope of getting out of here. Well, um, some bad news on that front. A missile hit my hive. I'm buried under the debris in my lawn ring. A missile. I heard a big heavy thump a minute ago. Is that related? Oh, yeah, that was probably the missile that nearly killed me. You need help way more than I do right now. I don't want to be a bother. I was about to say something to those effects. Or I mean, I was gonna say I'm sorry I can't help you anymore and we're both stuck waiting to find out if the flames or the drones will reach us first. Nuts to that. Oh, I'm gonna save you. Aren't you stuck? I was, but that missile knocked some boxes over that I don't think I could have moved on my own. So, in a weird way, it kind of helped. Boxes. Yeah, they were blocking a vent shaft. I'm gonna climb up there and see where it leads. Wow, you're kind of like a real life action hero. Wow. Oh, shucks. I want to help you the way you were gonna help me. And you were putting yourself at a lot more risk than I realized. I repeat, well, I've been meaning to ask, what the heck does that mean? Oh, you can use letters and numbers to make a little face. Tetrak Dammit told me he likes it when I smile. We have those where I'm from, but I don't know what the X means. Oh, those are my horns. 
your horns. Yeah, I, the guy on the screensaver. I think so. That's probably not me, though. But those are real. Um, do you not have horns? I thought they were out of frame. No, I don't have horns, Jeeves. What a question. That's so weird. And cool. You really are an alien. I never thought I'd meet one. Well, today's your lucky day. Or, I mean, it really seems to not be that, but you understand what I'm going for here. I think so, yeah. I'll be there as quick as I can, so apply pressure to the wounds and try not to move too much. It's okay. The weight of the rubble crushing my body is pressing down on my wounds and preventing me from moving at all. <laughs> Man, Xerox. Buddy. We've really got work on your concept of what's okay. You also capture logged the glowy thing. Byers, you silly little angel. You can't run on alien power. A vent shaft was revealed when that missile strike knocked over some boxes. You could probably fit inside if you had to. You climb up the box pile. You exit the vent. Hey, I made it through the vent shaft. Wow, that's pretty exceptional. Oh well, gosh, thank you. It was real creepy and in retrospect, fairly dangerous. Or shall I say, it was more dangerous than I expected. Well, um, I would rather you didn't, honestly. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's okay, but typing quirks are sort of... I've noticed you don't really have one, but, um, they're kind of a thing that's exclusive to you, you know? Or, I mean, it's okay if you there you as a kid, but someone you're close to. No offense, but I don't know you that well yet. Oh, I see. Well, I'm sorry. I will know better from now on. No, I'm probably being weird about it. I'm sorry. You had no way of knowing. Zephyrus, it's okay to tell people when they do something that bothers you. Prepare to express how you feel, then sit on it forever while the other person has no idea. What kind of foundation for a friendship would that be? Oh. Yeah, you're right. By the way, how much rubble are you covered in, exactly? Not really sure how I'm going to get you out of there. Oh, that won't be too hard if you can find my hover pad. It's around there somewhere. I use it to move my Lucis around, but Tetrak Damak borrowed it. To move some guns, I think, or maybe it's drums. Oh, bad timing. Haha. Ha. Well, I mean, that was a couple sweeps ago. So I guess it's pretty much his now. You know what they say, your hive is my hive. <laughs> Actually, that's most of what the Tetrarch says as he's taking my stuff. Okay, that's nice, but where is this hover pad exactly? Oh, right, sorry. It's fine, I just don't want to get bleed to death or whatever while typing. I think it's probably still in the Tetrarch's loft above his respite block. Do you know where you are now? Not really, but... There's a ton of guns, so I... I don't want to make you anxious, but... That describes, um... Every block in the Tetrarch's hive. Great. I'll message you when I've made some more progress, I suppose. Okay, yeah. I think I'll pass out from blood loss. I'm gonna chill out for a while. <laughs> Hang on, I'll find that cover pad soon. Just a typical air vent, previously repurposed as a human vent, but it mostly deals in air. It does look like it fit pretty nice, but then again, this dammit guy seems all paranoid and extremely dangerous. You don't know if you should be cracking the safe, because it's seeing might be hazardous to your health. This looks like some kind of safe, you guess? Hard to be sure given your current surroundings, but it seems to fit the usual profile. Demex seems pretty paranoid. Even if you could crack the safe, it probably wouldn't be safe to do so. 
Hey, you can see the portal from here. Right through this giant hole you made when you inadvertently laser beamed yourself into Damok's home. You hope you're not responsible for any of this damage. Well, alright. Best case scenario, this grotesque sack of goo is some sort of airy bathtub that someone forgot to drain. Worst case scenario, it's an extremely poisonous toilet. You aren't going anywhere near Damak's clock toilet, or whatever this is. Maybe it's the egg he hatched out of? It's gross, is what it is. This big, messy pile of weapons and percussion instruments is really hampering your ability to use these stairs. Sheesh. You can't just up and move such a formidable pile with your fleshy, unsalted hands. Tempting this feat would be embarrassing and time-consuming and incredibly dangerous. You see, the medium book of beasts, the small book of beasts, and several beasts collected in random order in a book. Oh cool, some more guns. Throwing. No. These movies kind of look like not your thing, really. No judgment, you just don't want these posters at all. Huh, the handprint is probably how this door is opened. Or maybe it just means that the room on the other side is room 4, or room hand. Or maybe that's the obvious local sign for lethal monsters, do not enter. Either way, this thing doesn't seem to be powered. No dice, you guess. Is that power? Maybe. Looks like some kind of big weird book. You pick up the, let's see, looks like this is the big book of beasts. You flip through glimpse and tons of monsters at various levels of weird, cute, scary, and spectacular. You can use this to learn more about the weird alien life on this weird alien planet. Neat! You pick a page at random and accidentally spend a few minutes reading about Muscle Beast Pectoral to Messins. Maybe you should just use this on Lucis's that you actually encounter. Also, hope that you never encounter that one. You don't find anything but buyers in here because he's just a little earth pitch. Oof, yeah, lots of snakey looking things in here. No thanks. That control panel is not pigeon powered, you hope. You stick a pin in the idea just in case you don't find a less whimsical power source. You don't want to electrocute yourself, or bring this stuff to life, or whatever. You're not into this. Byer splashes around in the sack of goo and becomes even more gross than he frankly already was. Yeah, that's all that's keeping you from shining down on whatever this goo is. Presumption that it's too bland. You dip a couple in there. It's gross. Why did you do this? You leave them there. Obviously. You drop a couple e-cell batteries onto the panel. Nothing happens. You guess the technology is incompatible. You hold up the glowing cube to the button. The button shorts it out. Uh oh. Hey! Hi, Joey. How's it going? Not great. I actually put everything in lockdown. Or maybe it was in lockdown before I somehow got past one door. That's probably it. The Tetrarch has extremely high security. What's the deal? Is he really paranoid, or is your planet really dangerous? It must be, if everyone's house is full of guns. Actually, my hive is pretty different. It's a lot cleaner, for one thing. 
and it has a tree growing in it from my Lucis. And there's no guns. That sounds really nice. What does he even need so many guns for anyway? Well, I guess it's okay to tell you since you're another Rustblood. But don't tell anyone else. It's a major secret. I don't know a single other person in your entire planet. Oh, right, eh? Okay, but, um, yeah. So, we're rebelling. Oh? It's okay, you can take a minute. I know it's a lot to process. Rebelling against what? The man! No, oh, Theris is a girl. Okay, um, right, you're an alien. Okay. Some context. The heiress is a murdering tyrant who holds our whole planet our weird, wicked, finny fist. Finny? Yeah, she's a sea dweller, a fuchsia blood. One of only two. The other one... Well, she's really far away all the time, leading the conquest of other galaxies or whatever. Which is lucky for us, because she's incredibly powerful. Not so lucky for the people in the other galaxies, though. Huh? Oh, yeah, that's true. But anyway, Theris is enough to deal with. The other Highbloods follow her, and of course she has a drone army. Well, of course, ain't that always just the way? Yeah. I was kidding, I don't know what Highbloods or drone armies or anything are. I hate to be all, hi, I'm new here on planet, can you gradually bring me up to speed on literally everything? Watch in amazement as I stun you with my penetrating cluelessness, feast your eyes on my badly executed jokes. Ah, you're pretty a beat about all this. I think if I was selling shot across the galaxy or whatever, I'd be flipping out. Aren't you currently bleeding out under a ton of rocks? Ah, I guess so. It's kind of annoying to have no idea what's going on. Oh, okay, well, the drones are the thing flying around outside. They'll take us into custody if they see us, assuming they don't cuss outright by firing missiles into our bodies until we're dead. Oh. Yeah. Okay, well, a lot of this can wait until we get you a safety. I've got to go find your hover pad now. Talk to you soon. Oh, hey, the tablet's doing the thing again. Hey, Xerox, you there? Can't really go anywhere else with the debris solely crushing my body. Eh. Oop, right, sorry. It's okay. It doesn't sound okay. Try not to move too much. Okay, I'll try. I'm going to, uh, pass out a little now. Wait, real quick. I'm having trouble with this, uh, security puzzle, you call it. I solved the one in the basement, basement, no sweat, but this one seems kinda different. Security puzzle. Do you mean the serpent realm that Tetragamic rigged up to his power hexagrid? I wouldn't have used those words, but if you think that's what I'm talking about, it probably is. There's another one. A different one? I think so. The start screen is different anyway. And the power is still on, so I don't know what it'd be connected to. It's high security, probably. He's always tinkering with it to make it more complex. Yeah, for the one in the basement, I only had to eat the letters. But now, they're different. There's different letters to eat, but I don't know what letters to eat, if that makes sense. Oh, it's probably... Oh, really? No, oh, wait, sorry, I meant... Yeah, I got it. No, that's not it. What? I'm typing it in, but it keeps getting changed to a bunch of X's. Maybe it's that new security software I installed. It must stop me from posting my password to the chat. Really? Let me try. Uh, Mrs. Taylor Thomas 80. Can you see that? Mrs. Taylor Thomas 80? O-M-G. What's that? No! Oh, you told me it would turn into X symbols. Well, oh, you're using the Hedgehog's tablet. It wouldn't know your password. I can't believe I did that. Sorry, I'm going home. I can never show my face on this spot again. Eh? Uh -huh. This Taylor Thomas A seems like a nice password. I'd never guess that. You must be really smart, Joey. No, apparently I'm super stupid. What's so embarrassing about it? 
everybody makes mistakes. It's just... Well, I guess it's the name, name of a boy I like. Really? Ah, uh, don't know anyone. That's what my password is, too. Oh. Do you have a girl you like? Oh, no. It's a boy. Oh, for some reason I thought you were a boy all this time. I am, eh. Oh. Huh. So, uh, not to rush you or anything, but I'm still dying in the rocks. About the security console. Yeah. About that. Can you, like, give me a hint? It's the name of our band, but there's a couple different ways to spell it. That's pretty weird. Yeah, we keep going back and forth between the and the I actually don't know which one it is right now. Well, I'll scout around and see if I can find something. He's bound to have written it down somewhere or something, right? Um, I hope so. I'm gonna conserve my strength a little bit. Then maybe gang tied dead. Hang in there. I'll be there as soon as I can. Well, I think we've probably done enough for today. So, until next time, keep your axe sharp and your beard clean. End of Act 1, Act 7